Hey everybody, it's Sunday and it's time for another edition of Storytime. You already see my special guest sitting right in front of you. This is Forrest Grump. Uh, Forrest Grump is a waxy monkey tree frog who just pooped on me a little bit, but that's okay because everybody poops. Uh, this is a really, really cool species of frog. One, because of his name. He has waxy and he has monkey in his name. So the waxy part comes because where this frog comes from, is actually a very dry area of South America called the Chaco Forest. And when we think of South America, where he's from, we often think of rainforest and it always being really wet, but there are dry areas too, especially when we get around mountain ranges. And usually one side of a mountain is gonna be very wet and the other side's gonna be very dry. And so the area he comes from happens to be a very, very dry area. Um, because of that, he has these bumps all over his skin, which can actually secrete a type of coating that lives very waxy like. And he'll take his back legs and he'll rub that wax all over his body to protect him from the hot sun and from high temperatures. Also, he has a tendency to live up in the tree canopies, so the top of the trees. So he's obviously, it's gonna be a little bit warmer up there. There is gonna be more sunlight up there. So again, those waxy secretions are gonna help protect him. This is something that most amphibians don't have, which is why they always have to be around water, but the waxy monkey gets to protect himself from that. So he doesn't dry out. His body will actually retain water because the waxy coating he has is gonna keep it in. Now, the other part of his name is monkey. And that's because unlike a lot of frogs who are very, uh, keen on hopping and doing really big jumps, uh, the waxy monkey frog is more of a walker. Uh, these guys are known again for being up in the canopy of the trees. They actually just walk across the leaves and the branches, kind of like he's doing across my hand right now, until he finds a comfortable spot. So you notice he's got very, very long limbs. He's got opposable thumbs um, and very, very dexterous back legs, which can uh, stretch out really far and go all over his body. So this is how he gets the name monkey in his name because he climbs around like a monkey rather than hoppy like a frog. Now he's got some very, very cool colors on him too. So if you look at the bottom side there, you see all kinds of different like whites and some striping and some speckling. That's because the underside of leaves when animals look up often look like that. They got sunlight shining through. Uh, so it creates all these different colors and patterns. But then again, the top of them is just all green. So when this guy's sitting uh, out on a leaf, just minding his own business or waiting for some food to get by, he more or less looks like a leaf from both the top and bottom, and this is gonna stop predators from coming anywhere near him. Now you see he's pretty uh, good there about just perching up on my finger. He's trying to figure out where to put his other back foot, kind of finding some space there, but because of his opposable thumbs and again, how dexterous he is, he's pretty good at just sitting there. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get reading our book called The Adventures of Monkey and Toad, Two Remarkable Friends, written and illustrated by Donald Lloyd Sr., who is a local author here in Michigan. Um, and this book was recommended by one of my friends in the saltwater department, Wayne, and Donald Lloyd Jr. is one of Wayne's friends. So thank you, Donald, for the book. And we're going to go ahead and get reading and hope that Forrest Grump here decides to stay in one place. So here we go. One warm spring day, Monkey sat in a tree overlooking the zoo at all he could see. Then as he looked down and way to the ground, he saw something moving and it made a strange sound. Croak, croak, it said again and again. Croak, croak, as Monkey listened in. So down Monkey went, searching far and wide. I will find you, he said, from me you can't hide. He looked in the bushes by the path by the road. What could it be, he thought. Then he saw it, a toad. A toad, said Monkey. Well, this is a first. I'm so excited to meet you. I feel I might burst. Toad was not as excited and he turned to walk away. He stopped when Monkey asked, would you like to play? A toad played with the monkey? What things would we do? We have nothing in common and I'm smaller than you. Monkey looked puzzled. Why don't you want to play? Well, Toad thought, we are different in every way. You eat fruits and nuts and swing high in the trees. I eat flies and other bugs and hop through the leaves. Yes, 
You are large and hairy. I am bumpy and quite small. So how could we possibly have any fun at all? I don't care if we are different. Why must we be the same? We explore new things. Why can't we play? I'm game. I can teach you to swing, and you can teach me to hop. We can make our own games. The fun will never stop. Toad thought long and hard. Then he said, let's give it a go. So the two played all day till the sun was getting low. Toad couldn't remember when he had so much fun. Goodness, is that the time? I really must run. Today was a blast. We should do it again. And that's how they became two remarkable friends. So this is a great story about how you should give everybody a chance, especially when it comes to friendship, because you never know who might end up being your best friend, what you might have in common. It's not fair to just judge people because they don't look like you or come from the same place of you as anything else. Because in the end, we can all just be friends with each other, whether we're a monkey or a toad. It doesn't really matter. So I hope you enjoyed our book, The Adventures of Monkey and Toad. And I also hope you enjoyed learning about our waxy monkey tree frog friend, Forrest Grump. So we'll go ahead and give him his close up and we'll see if he decides to jump on the camera because he did that again earlier. He's thinking about it. There you go. Now we have a frog covering the camera. You wanna move your butt? Yep, yep, there's a frog butt up close. All right, have a good time and we will see you next time.